Secondly, President Pompeo came to power as a youth. Today we have ancestors ruling us. I mean, living ancestors. In almost every strategic responsibility, you cannot find a young man there. National Assembly, I grew up and knew the president of National Assembly. My daughter, fair daughter, is still telling me the same person in National Assembly. The person who has the Senate is a retired individual who was grabbed somewhere and he barely walks. We are talking about a constitutional council person who has been given an office that was created to make sure elections go free in this country. He was brought into that office. He saw it as a trophy, not an employment, as a breakthrough of the millennium. Now we have such persons in responsibilities. How do you expect a nation to continue for when the poor are ruling it on wheelchairs? A nation that is led by people on wheelchairs. How do you expect the nation to gain speed? The people themselves cannot walk. How can the nation walk? Because in leadership, we need energy, we need vitality, we need vigor to carry out leadership to an effective end. But that is not the case here. Now, what we talk about creating many institutions of learning, let us go to places like Europe and America. You will not find too many institutions. They have been more of research centers where they come out with thesis and, uh, 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 and, and hypothesis and come out with discoveries and inventions. You hear that Americans have gone to the moon, they have gone to the... We have all kinds of persons in different fields in this country. All they are looking for is to go back to a classroom and become a teacher. Is teaching the only job Cameroonians can do? How do you explain? You go to American facilities in the country government-based hospitals the stories there are something else it's a shame now when we come back to address issues that are very burning in this country we are talking about things that are very very serious that affect the life of very, every cameroonian look at the way cameroonians are traveling out of the country guineans who are close here don't go out of the country one of the signs you will know a country is not well is the rate at which the people migrate because migration is movement from one place to another is in my own definition is movement from an uncomfortable environment to a more comfortable environment so if cameroonians are going out of this country at a very high rate it's only a sign that the environment is not comfortable for them to stay those are the things you have to put into considerations now coming back to agriculture like what kikishi said that we're talking about the green revolution cameroon imports worth four billion of money to, to i mean four four uh, four billion worth of onion every year onion but we have a country that grows almost everything we import worth four billion four forty two billion of pork every year now why do we import food the rate at which we import food in cameroon is very bad considering the fact that cameroon has the most fertile soil under the planet earth on the surface of this earth we have the most fertile soil i'm sure we're supposed to be suppliers of food to other countries not depending on other countries to give us food yeah we have an airline system where instead of taking business managers to send there we send military people to go and head a business organization we send captains to go and head a business organization we send even people from enam who are studying administration to go and manage a business institution how do we expect our own things to grow do you know that we don't have a shipping line in this country for how many years? How many years we don't have a shipping line in this country? That should let you understand that we are limited. In the in the in the in the in the aviation sector, we are limited. In the maritime sector, we are limited. In the agricultural sector, which we think is our own strength, we are limited. Going to the place of administration, the poor are leading us. They told us our youths of today are leaders of tomorrow. We have not become the elders of tomorrow and the elders of yesterday are still ruling us to today. What do you expect the generation who are coming forward to think? Anyone that grows in this country and sees the way the government is being run, they will start thinking a bit of going out of the country. Because a man cannot sit in an office from 1979 to 2021. Is he your father's ancestor's tool? That's the question we are asking. You are sitting here, you are Bo Evans, and you have gotten a degree in, in, in journalism for many years ago. You are working. There is no hope that one day you will become director of CRT because there are ancestors who are sitting there and they must die on the seat. There is no hope. <laughs> so those are the things we have to put in consideration. Look at Canada. Go to Finland. Go to Denmark. Go to Holland. You see the prime ministers in those countries are young, young persons. 
but they have given us the impression that until you grow old and have gray hair you are not qualified to lead i want to ask is gray hair the curriculum detail needed for leadership in this country arrest my case thank you